Hello, I'm uh, François Pony, and I'm the uh, product line manager for the uh, series of instruments that are related to integrated photonics testing. Uh, we're here at CIOE presenting part of the portfolio that we have uh, regarding integrated testing for optical testing. And uh, uh, I will go through a few of the innovations that we have done over the, the, the past year. Um, the CTP10 here is a component testing platform that allows passive component testing such as integrated photonics ring resonators, but also, as is the case uh, on, the, on this, uh, this demo here, the DWDM testing module. So the module here that is being testing is a spectral characterization with one picometer resolution at 200 nanometers per second scanning speed on the laser. And so here we have a characterization of four channels in a matter of seconds. We can even go further with 50 50 uh, channels in one single sweep of the laser with the detectors here and different modules. We can test insertion loss and polarization dependent loss, but also return loss for a particular module. So innovations on the CTP10 are twofold. One is the resolution, the new resolution. Uh, we were limited to one picometer. Now we have 20 femtometer, so 50 times better Accurate, uh, resolution on the measurement, which is very key for high Q ring resonators measurement. And that is achieved without compromise on the quality of the wavelengths and the power that is being measured through the device. Uh, another innovation on the CTB10 is the introduction of the uh, photocurrent meter, a photocurrent meter PCM module, very similar to these uh, photo detectors here, except that the detector can be outside. It can be free space detector. It can also be a detector that is uh, positioned onto the PIC, onto the integrated photonics device. And so with such uh, innovation of the CTP10, we're well positioned for PIC applications. Another innovation was uh, the introduction very recently of uh, our series of tunable lasers. So T200S and T500S. They are scanning at 200 nanometers scanning speed in both directions with high power 10 dBm over the full range. And with three different devices, we can cover O-band, ES-band, and CLU-band. And so three devices cover all telecoms applications or, tele of, or, or, or applications that are related to telecoms wavelengths. And the last uh, innovation that I would like to uh, point out is the acquisition of EVA. So EVA was acquired in September last year and is a, a company that uh, provides uh, probe stations to couple light in and out of uh, the device under test, it being a wafer or a single die. And EVA also provides instruments uh, for automation and analysis of the results from a database. So really key to, uh, to uh, develop the peak applications from the wafer to the, uh, to the die with optical spectrum uh, analysis uh, down the line. So this is only one part of the solution that we propose. We also have optical spectrum analyzers and beta ray testers that can be used directly uh, during the test on wafer or on key. So on that, I will conclude. Thank you very much for your attention. Bye-bye.